talking about having a functional advanced lunge. That's a little bit different than just talking about the technique behind the movement of an advanced lunge. So we're gonna assume you have some foundation of actually performing an advanced lunge. We will talk about some of the technical habits, but what we're gonna focus on here is actually how you're gonna use an advanced lunge in real situations. An excellent advanced lunge starts with having a correct on guard. If the knees aren't bent, if the feet aren't in the right position, if the fencer isn't ready to move on fence, then you've got to stop right there and correct that position. The next thing is how we start. We have students starting the attack and they're going to start with the blade. It's the blade that's going to threaten the opponent. So the blade moves and then followed by the feet. When you're making the advance, it's really important that you're doing so in a dynamic way. Depending on what your opponent does, you may need to lunge or you may need to take another step. Those are the two main things you're gonna have to do. There are other things you're gonna have to do, but at the start of things, at the core, the foundation, do I need to take another step to reach my opponent? Do I need to lunge? The biggest mistakes that people make are they go too fast and they go too big with their steps. If you go too fast and too big, the most likely outcomes are going to be you take an extra step and you get hit with a counterattack, or you lunge too early. Your fencing speed is a speed at which you can see what your opponent is doing and make the correct decision. So if you find yourself lunging too soon or getting hit often with counterattacks, it may be time to slow down. Another important thing to work on in your footwork is a smooth acceleration to the target with an explosive lunge at the end. Acceleration is different from speed. We want to be slowly bringing our speed up, especially when we're in finishing range, and then delivering an explosive and powerful lunge, pushing from our back leg and our arm delivering the blade and then our fingers delivering the cut into the correct target. In order to work on a functional advanced lunge, you have to do it with a partner. That could either be a coach or a teammate at the club. It's really important when you're working with a training partner that their goal is not to mess you up. Their goal is to meet you where you are and to help you. Here are some really important tips for your training partner. So they are gonna go slower. They are gonna open a little bit earlier. They're gonna move a little bit sooner than someone would if they're fencing you and trying to force a mistake yes. out of you. I hope you enjoyed this video on having an awesome advanced lunge. There are more videos on the topic coming out soon and we will have content coming out weekly. So we hope you subscribe and we hope you'll make our YouTube channel a regular stop in your fencing journey.